What's up, superheroes? Super Nintendo Hunter here. Today is Thursday, January 3rd, 2019. This is day 723. And welcome to a vlog that's probably not going to be very long. Um, so, before I start this video, this video is a rant. See the title, you already know what this is going to be about. But before I get into that, allow me to talk about the little confusion with yesterday's vlog. So, you guys saw I posted the main vlog yesterday that was over an hour. And you guys saw a few hours later, I posted a, I posted a bonus vlog, which was over four hours. And then randomly out of nowhere, the, the main vlog for yesterday disappeared. And the reason why is because I deleted it. And the reason why is because there was a specific part where I said I was going to add in something into the vlog that I never added in. And I just uploaded the video, I put it up, and then um, I realized I didn't add it in. So I deleted it. And what I did, not realizing what I was doing, I <clears throat> deleted it because I thought in the back of my mind, oh, I still have the main file on my phone. So I went and deleted the main vlog off of my channel, went onto my phone and realized I had already deleted the main file. So I was not able to re-upload the main vlog. So the bonus vlog that I posted after the main vlog, the bonus vlog that was over four hours, I deleted that in the form of it being a bonus vlog and re-uploaded it as the main vlog. So we have officially broken our past record for the longest daily vlog ever. The longest daily vlog was my January 2018 vlog super cut, which was over three hours long. This video is now over four hours. So we now have the longest daily vlog ever at over five, at over four hours long. So that's the whole confusion as to what happened with yesterday's video. Now allow me to get into the main part of yesterday, of today's video, which is what I should have did yesterday. This whole debate thing. Now I'm going to go over the past few debates that I've talked about over my time here on YouTube. The first debate is this whole thing with the dress that took place back in 2015 on whether the dress was blue and black or white and gold. If you guys don't remember the dress, here's the picture. Okay, now this debate blew up. It was all over Instagram, it was all over YouTube, it was all over Facebook, it was all over Twitter, it was everywhere. And it was the stupidest debate I'd ever seen in my life. Here's the picture one more time. Now, people are still arguing to this day on whether this dress is blue and black or white and gold. I'm going to show the picture one more time. Here it is again. That dress is blue and black. No doubt about it. That, there's no way that that dress is white and gold. It's blue and black. Now on to the second biggest debate. Another one that I thought was it's equally stupid. This pair of shoes. The debate with those shoes are, was if the shoes were pink and white, so pink shoes with white shoelaces, or gray and blue, gray shoes with blue shoelaces. Here are the shoes again. Now, once again, just like the dress, this is another debate that blew the up. If it wasn't on Facebook, it was on Twitter. If it wasn't on Twitter, it was on Instagram. If it wasn't on Instagram, it was on YouTube. If it wasn't on YouTube, it was on ready or it was everywhere and it was just as equally stupid it was just as stupid as the dress here's the shoes one more time those shoes are pink and white I don't care what anybody says those shoes are not gray and blue those shoes are pink and white Now on to the third debate, which is 
the biggest and most stupidest debate of 2018. This was so dumb. You guys remember, I made a rant about this a few months back. If you want to see the rant that I made about this debate, the link will be in the description down below. Laurel or Yanny? This debate exploded. And it was so stupid. Now, originally, upon hearing it for the first time, I heard Yanny. However, many people didn't think so. People like Antonio, Sabrina, and Lewis, they all heard Laurel. I heard Yanny, they heard Laurel. I will play the clip right now. Laurel. 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 That is the Laurel versus Yanny clip. Now, I can admit and say that now when I hear it, I hear Laurel. I can hear it full on day saying Laurel. When I first heard it, all I heard was Yanny. But now all I hear is Laurel. I hear, I hear full on Laurel now every time I listen to it. I no longer hear Yanny. I'm going to play the clip. This is the last time I'm going to play it. Laurel. 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 There it is. It's Laurel, okay? It's Laurel. It's Laurel. Now on to the main topic. This debate is so retarded. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for saying the word. So retarded. So dumb. So far stretched. So unbelievable that people even believe this. Now, you guys know Sesame Street. Sesame Street is a kid's show that's been out for almost 50 years. It debuted in 1969. And one of the most popular pu Muppets is this Muppet with a big orange nose with f blue fur. And his name is Grover. Here is a picture of Grover. That's Grover. Now, the biggest debate is there's a scene from an episode where Rosita is filming him for something. And I guess she was too close with the camera. So, Grover is saying, move the camera. Move the camera. Here, I'm going to play the clip. Here's the clip. Move the camera. Yes. Yes, that sounds like an excellent idea. You see the... Here, people are swearing... That Grover said the F word. And I just want to slap the face of anyone who thinks he's saying the F word. Because no way in is there going to be an episode of a educational kids show where, the character, where a character says the F word. Sesame Street is a kid's show, like an educational kid's show, where it teaches kids about colors, letters, and numbers. There's no way in hell that they would allow a kid, they would allow a, one of the show's main characters to drop an F-bomb in a kid's educational TV show. Now, what he's saying is he's saying, move the camera. Yes, yes, that sounds like an excellent idea. And what people think he's saying is, I'm going to leave this part uncensored. People think that he's saying, yes. Yes, that's a fucking excellent idea. Here's the clip again. Move the camera! Yes! Yes, that sounds like an excellent idea! Now, like I said, there's no way in hell that they would allow one of the show's main characters to drop an F-bomb when this is supposed to be an educational children's show. Here's the clip one more time. Move the camera! Yes! Yes, that sounds like an excellent idea! They swear that he's saying, move the camera, yes, yes, that's a fucking excellent idea. Now, I'll admit, it was kind of funny when I first listened to it, I did hear it. But now, I keep replaying it, and in the back of my mind, I know it's saying, yes, yes, that sounds like an excellent idea. Because, like I said, there's no way they would allow an F word to be on a kid's show. So, that's it. That's it for today's vlog. So, let's go over it. The dress, that dress is blue and black. The shoes... Pink and white. Laurel versus Annie. Laurel. Grover. 
He's saying, yes, yes, that sounds like an excellent idea. Thank you guys for watching. If you like, subscribe. Please do if you don't want to. Of course, you don't have to. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the daily vlogs. Thank you guys for always tuning in every single day. If you guys want to check out my Lord vs. Nanny rant from a few months ago, the link is in the description down below. And I'm going to add in another one of my favorite TJ and Friends videos right now. TJ's angry dad freaks out and throws the Christmas tree. This is Tom trying to get the lights off of the Christmas tree and they weren't coming off like they were tied too tight around. And eventually towards the end he gets mad and he throws the tree. This is from January 18th, 2005. Damn it. Let's take the tree down. Let's not take the tree down. God damn it. I'm gonna go fucking insane here. What fucking horse shit I gotta fucking deal with? This is fucking tops it the fuck off. Never again. Never again. Fuck this. What the fuck do I even bother for? Now where does it go? You gotta be fucking kidding, right? Tied knots around the bottom, four strands of light wrapped around the bottom. Makes a lot of sense. Motherfuckers probably doing the fucking work. Fucking whore. Fucking lose it. Fucking son of a bitch. You gotta be kidding me. This has got to be the worst fucking bullshit I've ever seen. Knew it'll never fucking come off. That's why you did it like that. Oh, you're kidding. Come on. lady had the right idea at the hospital yesterday, I'll tell you that. Because I'm right with her. Busting a fucking nut here. That stupid bullshit. Fucking aggravating. Fucking you. Absolutely fucking you.
light it on fire.